And we are back, ready to go. The dice of ascendance up to the 90th floor on this thing. This is one hell of a crazy tower. In retrospect, I think it would have been a lot easier, considering we had an airship, to just you know fly to the top and shoot a hole through it and be like, okay, top floor, here we go. But uh, apparently that was not something for consideration. Something's happening. Got an angry yellow warp chasing us, I guess. hit this dude with the summon just to show him how it's really done. Nah. That ain't needed. Hey oh, got me another summon. Hushball. save here. I don't see one. Before we go any further, let's see what we unlock with Hashma. Add it to the board. As a red mage, you'll get steel. Oh, man. So excited to get that. Uh, zoom. What does Hashma add to Shikari? He adds Bone Crusher. Nah. Balthier... Ashmal gives you swiftness, which you already have, or alternatively, nothing. Okay. Fran, Ashmal will give Makara, which are hand bombs, and channeling, which she already has. Bosh, what do you get from Ashmal? You get Bone Crusher. And Cura and Raze. Pretty good. I like the idea of Cura and Raze. Then he stops eating up all of my uh, Phoenix Downs. Ash, what do you gain access to? Nothing. And as a knight, you get White Magic, which you already have. Okay. Pinello. You have the possibility of nothing, and as a machinist, nothing. So, yeah, I guess, uh, Bosch, there you go. It is all yours, buddy.
That would actually be useful. save because I'd really rather just you know find one of those to cleanse off all the shit inflicting my characters how everybody is inflicted by slow right now. So far this is a nice calm run though. The din of the mist grows greater. The sun crisp must be near. I wonder if she'll really do it. Take revenge against the Empire. I mean, I know how she must feel. It's hard losing someone you care about. Something we all got in common. But you know, no matter how hard we try, we can't change the past. There's nothing that can bring them back. Still, sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see them so clearly. The illusions of the past. You think to have cast them off, only to find them years later, unwearying, unrelenting. The past can bind a man as surely as irons. Cut the true path. But will she? Slow should fall off pretty soon. Ah, oh, safe crystal. and dying a heaven-bound path. You who master power, wisdom, miss the tower secrets for you and you alone claim them. To heaven's last height you now ascent. Chosen, know how the reason of your choosing. This is the Sun Christ. Bright as hell. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Christ and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Christ. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. Goddamn Vaughn. You want revenge? You would have me use the stone?
You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Take what is yours. The Chris is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. <sighs> yes. It was I who wore Bashi's face. Who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? <laughs> yes. Good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword. Fight and serve those who die before you. <clears throat> A judge, Magister, there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the Midlight Shard, stolen from Nabradia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Zekt. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damasca? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? My prince, our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! <sighs> the wrestler I knew is gone. You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Dalmasca's long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the sun, Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? 
Then I will defend Queen and Kingdom both. <sighs> ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! I was wondering if, uh... Bosh was ever gonna speak up. Hear me, Bosh. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. Has come. Purge your heretic cock sucking brother. Luminescence! I don't think I've ever pulled that one off before. A fitting end. So you, too, 
would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this! I can bear no more. You disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him a sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Gabranth! <laughs> You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nethocyte? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you've brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone! Finish this for now! Cocoon of the sun crest! Spill forth your mist upon this evil east! Let sea and sky be awash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill! <laughs> the old shards going back into the sun crest. <laughs> and lo! How brightly burned their lanthorn! Casts it back the shadow of a Curian design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone. You made your nether side for this. You mimic the Acuria stone for what? To become a god yourself? On whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and play with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, family. REVEL IN THE GLORY OF MY TRIUMPH! You know, I just want to point out that before all this, I mentioned we have an airship, why don't we just go to the top? And sure enough, Gabranth and Sid <laughs> both just flew right up into the top. No pity for me! It's time to fuck this guy up. <laughs> Behold the manufactured nethersite! The fruit of our power and knowledge. See what the stone of man is capable of. Witness its power with your own eyes. Fan freed to me! Is going to protect you? Alright, shit on Famfrit. Alright, you're giving us all a bath, I get it. Wait 
So I guess I have fan print now? in no other way. Huh. Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? That sword cuts things. Why are they using both swords? All you need here is the Sword of King. You just need to shatter it. You must quit this place. It's reacting. I've not seen its like before. Nay, never this large. Never such threat impendent. For Nabodis. Redis! Redis, no! I, Judge Magister, condemn you to oblivion! Now I have the option of saving your game.
Al Cid? We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? How did you know where we were? <laughs> My little birds. They tell me many, many things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I used a variety of methods. All went according to plan until it came time to request withdrawal of our <laughs> most devoted generals. In their enthusiasm for war, our great military leaders went behind my back straight to Marquis Sandor's resistance. The resistance? During training, a division of the resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabradia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian division. They may have joined Ondor's resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army, under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is the Lamasca. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will bide their time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis, but then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher grounds, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did, how much more mist might it have drunk? All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. So we're not done yet. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanaster. Then I will defend Dalmaska and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. That's our charge, actually. It's our home. It belongs to us all. <sighs> and my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Ah, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting. I'm trying to show her that dick. Fortress Bahamut. I mean, I get that like all the airships are named after, uh, you know, the the traditional summons of Final Fantasy, but you, like, is it an airship that just sucks in mist? Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't really get it. Anyway, that was a hell of a long episode, so we're going to wrap things up here. Looks like we're taking on Bahamut next, so stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys then with more Final Fantasy XII.